All right, so you're old, your kids are getting into skating for something to do, and you're about to order skate boots and the sizing. You don't want to spend all that money and have them not fit and have to return them because, of course, there's no Rydell dealer near. So we'll go through the steps that you need to take because there, there weren't really any good tutorials on this. Um, there are some videos and the websites offer all kinds of stuff like you go to Rydell, you get their boot fitting guidelines. It gives you the right references so download this, print it out. You need to figure out which boot you want. So they're all built on different lasts, you know, different sizes. So you gotta figure out the boot you want. Then you figure out which last it's built on. The easiest way, the, the length measurements are correct, so that's, it, I mean, at the end of the day, you can trust the measurements. The easiest way, though, is to go, I found this one on lowpriceskates.com, and, you know, make sure that you measure the lines, it's supposed to be an inch when printed, and then you can just put this up against the wall, put your heel on it, and see what size you fit in and it, it was correct. Uh, you also, to figure out which last you want, you know, whether that's a, I don't even know what they call it, beta, gamma, delta, whatever, but these ball measurements are correct. These came straight from uh, Rydell's website. So you just measure around the, the widest part of the ball of your foot. But now here's the comparison. So they say, oh, well, just go down a size. Well, you're going to spend $400 or $500 on just a boot alone. You're not just going to say, well, I'll just go down a size from what I wear because everything's so different. So here's the comparison. Nike running shoes, size 10. Okay, and these fit toes right at the end. Always size 10. Alpine Star uh, street bike riding boots nine and a half my work shoes and this is where I think the accurate statements come in because they say from men's dress shoes go down half a size so my work shoes are size nine and that's pretty much across the board with, with whatever brand I wear skate boot Rydell 395 is an eight and a half with an eight plate that fits both uh, eight and eight and a half. And you can see on the eight and a half, I mean, I think a size eight, you'd be right at the end with the plate. So at the, at the end of the day, the sizes are accurate and mine worked half a size down from my work shoe size but that's an entire size and a half different than a Nike running shoe. Any questions, post a note. All right, so you're old, your kids are getting into skating for something to do, and you're about to order skate boots and the sizing you don't want to spend all that money and have them not fit and have to return them because of course there's